What is up you guys? Welcome to this instructional video on how to make beans in the Instant Pot. One of the most viewed videos on my channel is how to make beans in the Instant Pot from like three years ago. And that is one of my most viewed videos on this channel. I still get comments and views on it to this day, but unfortunately that video is too cringy for me to watch. So I haven't watched it in a long time. I'm really worried about what it looks like. It's probably so cringy and bad. But um, even my lipstick I'm wearing is like a brown taupe. So yeah, hopefully people stop watching that one from three years ago and they will click on this one instead. I'm gonna try and make it more better. So if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss every time I upload. And it'd really help out my channel if you could leave a big ol' thumbs up on this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be making chickpeas, black beans, pinto beans, and lentils. These are just four common beans that I make all the time on a regular basis. One of the main reasons I bought my Instant Pot is for bean making purposes. It is so much easier, in my opinion, than making beans on the stovetop, and it is way faster. So yeah, let's just get on with the rest of the video. A few things I should note before we make beans in the Instant Pot. There are so many different ways that you can make beans. There's a lot of different time ranges and spices you can add. The time that you cook the beans for really varies um, depending on how chewy or soft you like your beans. I prefer my beans to be like extremely soft. I don't like any like bite to mine personally. So yeah, I'm gonna cook these all on like the longer end of the spectrum. But yeah, I love cooking a huge batch of beans and saving them so I can eat them out throughout the week. Oh, I also wanted to add that you don't need to soak your beans when you pressure cook them. Um, there is no need to soak your beans ahead of time. You can just rinse them off and then add them into your pot with your water and spices. So yeah, okay, let's get started. So before you start out, you wanna sort and rinse your beans really, really good. So I'm gonna first make the lentils and I have this huge four pound bag of lentils and I'm just gonna measure out one pound, which is equal to two and a quarter cups. And you can either rinse them out in a colander, but I like to pour them into a big pot and then sort through them and look for any rocks. Oh, look, here's a rock. And then I fill up the water and swish them around a couple times and drain it and then repeat that process until the water is clear, usually like two or three times. And there you have it, your beans are squeaky clean. <laughs> okay, so I am back with our washed lentils. And you always want to make sure the outside of your Instant Pot lining is dry, so I'm just gonna wipe this down with a dish towel. And I'm gonna add these into the Instant Pot. So for water, I personally like to do a one-to-one -one ratio for lentils. Um, I find that that works out pretty well. So this is two and a quarter cups of water. Okay, so for seasonings, I'm gonna add one bay leaf, a lot of black pepper, I feel like black pepper and lentils go really well together. I'm gonna add a sprinkle of salt. I also like to add garlic and onion to my lentils, but since we are living in the quarantine right now, I haven't ventured out to my house to get any more. Oh wait, I also wanna add some red pepper flakes. There we go. So yeah, you could really add whatever seasonings you like, or you could just cook them plain. So that's all I'm gonna be adding. I'm just gonna give these a stir. I'm gonna pop on the lid. Ah. Make sure the valve up here is pointed towards ceiling. These are small brown lentils instead of the big ones. So I'm only gonna cook these for 10 minutes. If you're using the bigger ones, I recommend doing either 12 or 14 minutes. So I'm gonna press manual or pressure cook if you're using a duo. And I'm gonna set the timer to 10 minutes and I'm gonna do a natural release at the end. And it automatically is on high pressure, so I'm gonna cook all these recipes on high pressure. Okay, so here's my lentils. I did a full natural release. And as you can see, they are cooked to perfection. I'm just gonna give them a stir here. Next, I'm making pinto beans and I'm using this one pound bag. To start out, I'm just sorting through them and picking out any rocks or beans that might be moldy and giving them a good wash in the sink. 
So in the Instant Pot, I'm adding in the one pound of washed beans. So I went to the store before I filmed this second part of the video and I was able to get some onions and garlic. So next I'm adding in one onion diced along with four cloves of minced garlic. Keep in mind the onion and garlic is basically gonna turn to mush. It's mostly there just to add flavor, but it's gonna be completely mushy once the beans are done cooking because we're gonna cook it for so long. Next I'm adding in one teaspoon of chili powder one teaspoon of cumin, a sprinkle of black pepper, and this is the time that you wanna add salt to your beans. Adding salt before you pressure cook will season the beans from the inside out, but I'm gonna be making these salt free today. But if you wanna add salt, you can add about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon at this point. And for water, I'm adding in six cups of water, and there's gonna be a little bit of liquid left over at the end, so you can just drain that out if you don't want the li extra liquid. I'm also adding in a sprinkle of chili flakes and one bay leaf. And I'm just giving that a stir. I'm gonna put on the lid and make sure the valve is set to sealing at the top. Next, press the manual button, which is the pressure cook button if you're using a duo, and adjust the time to 30 minutes. And when it's done, I'm gonna do a natural release, which takes another like 20 minutes. So when the natural release has finished up, go ahead and take off the lid. This is what your pinto beans will look like when they're finished cooking. You can serve them just like this, but I also wanted to include um, how you can make your own refried beans if you cook them just for five minutes longer so they're slightly overcooked and then use a potato masher, you will have homemade refried beans. This is actually usually how I make my pinto beans so that I can put them in a burrito or for tacos. And yeah, if there's too much liquid at the end, you can just drain out any excess before you mash them. Next, I'm going to be making chickpeas in the Instant Pot, and I have one pound of chickpeas here that I rinsed off really well, just like I did the other beans. The same process, just sorted through them and then washed them in a strainer. Next, I'm adding in six cups of water, and I'm not going to be adding any seasonings into the chickpeas because I normally make them so I can put them on top of a salad or into a soup, so I'm only going to be cooking them with water. You can add some salt if you want. And so next, I'm just popping on the lid and making sure the valve is set to sealing. And then I press the manual button and set the timer to 40 minutes, which is kind of on the longer end. If you want a firmer chickpea, then cook them for like 30 or 35 minutes. But I like mine to be completely cooked. So once again, I did a full natural release, which takes about 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'm just taking off the lid. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of liquid left over. You can save that and add it to soups or make it into like vegan whipped cream. But I normally just drain it out so I can put the chickpeas in containers and ready to top on my salads. So that is it on how to make chickpeas. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to make black beans. So to the Instant Pot, I'm adding one pound of rinsed black beans. I already went ahead and sorted and rinsed these off camera, along with six cups of water. And for seasonings, there are so many different ways that you can season your black beans depending on how you want to make them. But I'm just going to show you some simple seasonings you can add. I'm adding in four cloves of minced garlic, some red pepper flake, one bay leaf. I added two bay leaves here, but just add in one because I think two was too um, herby tasting. One teaspoon of chili powder. Some other things you can season your black beans with are jalapenos, diced onion, and diced tomatoes. I just happen to not have any of those on hand at the moment. And I'm gonna give that a stir. If you wanna season your beans with salt, you can add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt at this point, and it will help to season the beans from the inside. But I prefer to make my beans salt-free so I can control the amount of sodium in whatever recipe I'm gonna make with them. So next I'm just putting the lid on and making sure the valve is turned to sealing at the top. And next I'm pressing manual, which is the same thing as the pressure cook button. I'm gonna cook these for 30 minutes. And when it's done, do a full 20 minute natural release. When the natural release is up, you can take off the lid and give your beans a stir. And if there's too much liquid left over, you can just drain that out. And I like to store my black beans in these glass containers in the fridge for whenever I want to add them to a recipe. I actually turn these beans into black bean and tofu tacos. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up before you go. And if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss every time I upload. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.